Hello friends, Liza here. Welcome back to another video. Today I will be working on prompt number 14 for Inktober, and that just happens to be armor. In case you're new here, my name is Liza Compass, and I love making videos about art, music, and my creative journey as a whole. This year for Inktober, I've challenged myself to make daily time-lapse videos to go along with my daily drawings. And if you've been keeping up with me so far, you already know that I'm just a little bit behind after getting sick last week. But not to fear, I will finish. After all, I am determined to persevere no matter what, which is a perfectly fitting sentiment for today's video. I love pushing the envelope when it comes to Inktober, using these prompts to come up with unique ideas that you may not expect. I also try my best to give each of these drawings purpose, to give them their own voice which holds true to my own, something that, at its core, is really me, yet at the same time tells its own story. That being said, I knew from the get-go that I wanted to celebrate a set of armor found in the natural world. And, of course, there are so many creatures in the animal kingdom to pick from that would fit the bill. But in the end, I decided to draw a snail. A creature so small, so slow, and so squishy on the inside that it depends on its shell more than anything. Its own personal set of armor so that it can survive as it navigates through life. Without it, this snail would feel completely lost, vulnerable, and, I'm sure, terrified. After all, it's hard enough facing predators, obstacles, and perils that are always far bigger, faster, and stronger than you could ever hope to be. Needless to say, this little guy depends on his armor, so he clings to it, he cherishes it, and he is grateful for it beyond measure. We can learn a lot from observing creatures like this. As I consider the armor this snail totes around each and every day, I can't help but contemplate the armor we each possess as human beings. Now, of course, we do not carry armor with us physically, but we mustn't forget the personal strengths we each carry within us. The things woven into the fiber of our being, providing a shield of resilience, our first defense for the challenges we face throughout our daily lives. Everyone's armor looks and feels completely different. After all, your armor has been custom made, forged by the trials and adversities faced throughout your life, molded by your experiences, and polished by your own character. You see, your armor is just another part of who you are. You cannot just rip it away, though when times get rough, it is sometimes easy to forget that it's there. To forget your own strength, your own ability to rise above any obstacle. Friends, everything in life happens for a reason, even when it feels impossible to understand. But in any given moment, we are being continuously presented with challenges that will teach us, mold us, and guide us in the direction of our highest potential. So even when it feels like the world has come crashing down, when you've been pushed to your limits and you feel utterly lost, always remember that the universe never presents us with challenges that we are unequipped to handle. And believe it or not, there is always something to be grateful for on some level, no matter the circumstances. So I hope you'll remember to cherish your armor, just like this little snail to practice gratitude for everything you've overcome to find your way to where you are today, and to look forward to a future that will allow you to grow stronger, wiser, and more self-aware with every passing moment. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to be posting a video every single day throughout the month of Inktober. So if you liked this and you want to see more, don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below. Leave me a comment.
comment letting me know what you thought of the video. And of course, most importantly, don't forget to subscribe and join this amazing and growing family. I'm also running a giveaway all throughout the month of October, so if you want to find out how you can win some art from me, like the drawing you saw today, make sure to check the description box below for all the things you can win and how to enter. And as always guys, I love you all so much, thank you so much for watching, keep creating, and I will see you in my next video.